So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Crew. Now, no, no, we're not playing that. <laughs> Our appearance is Alice 4 with the Unbinder Fantasy mod, and we're playing as the Magisterium. There we go, that's correct. Now, we are currently. I think this is going down a little bit, uh, but I f would wait a tad bit more before we start the next conquest. But we're doing our best. We are rich as hell because we don't really have anything else to build, I think. That's as simple as that. Oh. There we go. But yes. We are kind of waiting here and uh, clawing our way up. And I think I've put that... Uh, oh. Oh. Let's put that addict everywhere. If we are reducing everything, we might as well do that, right? So, uh, we have all the world ports that we can have, or do we? We have that one here, and that's it. Oh no, there's another one. There's another world trade center. Okay. So, I guess we have a, a little bit more of a wait. I mean, plans are to actually finish up these, what does it say? Forty for that our enclaves over around there. Really? See about that. Also I did want to take a closer look into um, magic. I did look I uh, did do a lot more magic uh, in other playthroughs. This one I kind of put it to the side, I guess, a little bit. But we will of course do some actions. Now I think that nothing that the mages normally can do here is gonna benefit us that much. Because we already are fairly far up there. I mean for example something like this is not too necessary. Because I, I just don't care what these guys are doing over there. Eight construction is also not too necessary because, well, we don't have anything to build because we have everything already. And the ward also not, so we don't have anything here quite yet. Also, these boys don't have much influence. Uh, do we want to change that? I mean, the Age of King, or oh, it's called the Age of Kings, right? Oh, like Age of Witch Kings. Is uh, still a little bit too, so absolutism is not as important. Hmm. Battlemates. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't seem anything r to do right now. We're just gonna keep our eyes peeled on these guys. We're just drilling. Can I have professionalism up there? I mean, we clearly want a high quality army. Are we building boats? Oh, yeah, we're building boats over here. I think I'm currently building up yeah, my hi heavy ships. And I got rid of my galleys. Because at some point I feel like the heavy ships just replace the galleys, no matter what. Oh, and of course we are developing our stuff like crazy. And we technically can do this a lot more because after all we're building up to... We, there we go. Lost that. Let's get the Fend of the Faith back. Just so we have that one all going on as well. So, I mean, wh which will be the next one to attack? I mean, you n probably not. Are you? Would be all a part of joining that. I mean, a few, but I feel like we can fight all of these. Do we have a true swift which ends in six years? But six years is a little bit too much to wait for. We could do another attack on Vex. Hmm. When we do have claims and such on you. That's quite that's actually interesting to look at look. I would actually get some more claims around here. Who am I currently building on? Oh, right, Vestam. What are you guys doing? Necklift is on our spot. Retun. 
We don't have much friends, right? No, not really. We still want to finish up our uh, states over here. For, ex for example, the Vestam state. In Vern is still a little pissed off. But that's alright. From the trade company, the police of the ca Canonian Norian Beaver. Of course. Everyone, in, er, everyone knows that. Uh, wait a second. Gabalair. Modgate. Okay, let's take Modgate on these ones. Uh, what do we have here, actually? Military. Yeah, military we still... Oh, wait. We, we, of course we can pick that. It's dirt cheap. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, let's finish up the uh, military thingy. Naval attrition is not too bad. Artillery combat is not too bad. Do I still have horses? Yes, some. We already had the uh, better cannons, right? Oh, no, we haven't. Take 16 is where we have that. Then we're gonna replace those horses. I mean, I do feel more inclined to going to, to war with uh, Vestam over here. I mean, one thing that might happen soon is the independence war of Vestam. Clearly. Because there is a lot of liberty desire and Garvet is involved. I assume that's gonna happen soon enough. Uh, you guys are giving me yet. <laughs> I guess I could technically throw these guys up to the next stage. Uh, no. I don't care. There we go. No powerful air. Or powerful mage air, let's phrase it like that. Vermont separatists are from down here, so we need to send you down here. Yeah, how do I get these guys out, technically? Uh, there is a war against Vestam in every way or shape. Hmm. Uh, I guess I can live with that. Corruption we do get down fairly well, uh, fairly quickly as well. We're doing a lot of stuff fairly well, to be honest. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah, but I think we're gonna wait for that uh, moment. So, can I convince you guys to let me through? How's that? Yes, of course you would allow me. Do we have... we don't have any vessels, right? We just have a bunch of allies. Okay. And I do have one slot open if we get a vessel. Because I always like the idea of that. Actually, you come over here. That's what I, what I wanted to do with you. Huh? I was just surprised by that. You don't allow me... Uh, To do that. A little bit odd that you don't allow me to let me move around. You're missing one transport ship. We'll see where that one uh, uh, spawns. Oh, Moonhaven is very chunky. There we go. You join the rest of the transport ships. Do we have any kind of upgrades that we need to do on this note? I think that is, you guys are fairly up to date. I mean, I do have a lot of money. So I assume that you guys are up to date. Yeah. Do you have anything you to build? Oh yes, there we go. Heroes rest. And that one. Have we upgraded every castle? Yes, we did. So. Uh, I guess we're just gonna throw these guys in. We don't have anything to do anyway. These guys. Also, just as a as a power example, <laughs> just just to prove the AI who's cooking here. Oh, inventory compatibility, that's fantastic. A few more days for that, and I think then we can start a war against Vestam. Because the other targets are either too strong, or we still have a uh, true swift then. There we go. 
give me give me the armies okay what do we have here every ship come ability never maneuver four mines and four defense all right i feel like i have better choices there infantry combat ability yes naval force limit ship cost eh more of navies i know what actually that i do prefer that is a lot better i like this a lot more and she's right now we're discovering the rest of the world how are we actually looking around here lorant is top dog but of course a lot comes from vessels there actually is no uh, horde, which is quite surprising. Raikar Kun, the command of course is around. Then this color, I don't know what that is. Those are dwarfs. Piersanders of course. How are you guys doing around here? Well, it seems like Alna is struggling a little bit to take the upper hand. But it seems like the the stuff is like this is one of the things like which I uh, think is quite surprising. The colonization happens so quickly in this game just because of these different buffs here. Like holy shit! It's just seconds, and uh, the most stuff is gone. So that one is finished. Could you guys become friends? Thank you very much. So we do, of course, have more space available. But I guess it's time that we do something. So you have Necklif on your side, which is over here. Isara would not join. Nabus Bay, where is that? Oh, right there. Oh, it would take a lot. Oh, well, no. Let's not. Dretun. Alright, then I'm actually gonna put this army over here again, <laughs> knowing that. So we can quickly uh, stop these guys. So, Vestam. How is the aggressive expansion looking? I mean, alright. I I've seen worse. Uh, how much would that cost? 40. I mean, then would we at least get uh, the other claim here, and therefore it costs less uh, aggressive expansion. You guys are also going down. Fantastic. I mean, I guess when the autonomy is down there, we can start a new army. How are we actually looking on uh, he here? Governing capacity. Hmm? We're going towards the limit, and tech takes a little bit longer to reach. So let's spend a few points around. Same with admin. All right, can we do something here? No. <laughs> we have to check that every time. Uh, two more ticks, I would say. You're not you're not a rival, right, Vestam? You're just uh, a goofball. Yeah. Oh, I actually should select some more some more rivals. Why can I select Elisna as a rival? I have... They only have 4% of my uh, military strength. That seems a little bit uh, weird. But I guess... Alright, Vestam. Time to get cooking. Uh, we're gonna take Gabalea as a focus. Jesus, you guys have no troops whatsoever. Like, holy shit. I guess I could... No, it's not necessary, is it? I guess we'll just attack their army. As simple as that. Boop. And for you... Let's wait until they're locked in. So... So we can... So we have that cleaned up. <laughs> Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you go here. 
Let's quickly cover this area. With troops. To speed up that process. You guys are doing that quite nicely. Also the siege is take, uh, going fairly fast I would say. Okay. Now we do need to put a bunch of dudes here for the siege. Let's just put some more guys here. Also partially to cover the area once again. So they don't get too many troops. Actually you, you run all the way over here so they can't spawn anything. Might not be able to siege but that is no problem. Exceptional year, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I guess we're gonna put some more guys here, and maybe that is enough to actually start this. Or no, I don't don't think it is. Oh no, it is lovely. Where are these guys actually going? They're just leaving now. They have decided they're looking for a better world, <laughs> a better life. I mean, I guess I could put. But I do don't want my transport ships to get beaten up. Oh, oh, you are done. Okay, of course. Uh, you quickly beat up those ships. So... Oh, the, the trade ships took out everything. I see. Uh, you st stomp here. There we go. We're of course not gonna spend any of these points. I mean, I don't think... Oh, I should have probably clicked the other thing. Well, now it's too late. I kind of misclicked there. So, delete you as well, El Delitos, okay, yeah, I mean, you see how well these armies stand against me, <laughs> very impressive, uh, what are you doing? You can also cover that area, it's not, it's not like that, alright, uh, Throwing you in as a vassal probably is near impossible. I can't even do that. But they only negotiate for these sort of selves. You also have the right faith. You have barely any money. I mean, that doesn't really make a difference, right? <laughs> I can't really do much with prestige on these guys. Doesn't have too many uses. So. Alright, there's also this stuff happening. I mean, I do have Defend of the Faith. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get called in or not. Oh wow, these guys got, got deleted. <laughs> Holy hell. That's not nice. Alright, Modgate is sieged. Should I send... I probably should send these guys over before we lose too many transport ships. There we go. Now you guys can... Oh, you also repair on the seas. I completely forgot about that part. Uh, now you run over here. You guys land here. I mean, I don't think I need to do all of this, what I'm currently doing, but that doesn't stop me from doing it. Okay, you are just running. I do, I do love the kind of rep the repair on coastline. That is just ridiculous. So this one, I probably is also. I could do that. It would actually not be too bad, to be honest. <laughs> huh? Thinking about it, that is not too bad at all. Huh. Of course, it's gonna be a lot of uh, stuff, but the thing is, barely anyone cares about it. With you, you're probably more important, and of course, you are too big, so we're just gonna do that with you. The usual stuff. Just also end all of your treaties with everybody. I 
Now you're just actually over here. So. Now. When I want this stuff. People of course are gonna be. Eh, eh. So if I, if I take these guys as vessels as well. Of course that is near impossible. What if we take that one as well. That one yeah. That one throws things over the edge. Okay. Then we just do. Stop with you. No vessel, but money and the usual stuff. Don't have friends. <coughs> and then we can deal with you. We currently don't have a dude. So, of course, money and. Oh, that's Necklif. I don't care about that. Lovely. Uh, does this make sense over here? I'd rather actually have that over here if I want uh, if I want one. So, I mean, we're gonna leave it here for now for the uh, production of devastation. You land here. So, what? How? What? What? What kind of ships did we steal here? Galleys. We can just. Ah, wait a second. Just delete. And be honest, that one transport ship we can also delete. <coughs> you just get a few more of these bad boys in. We're happy. Okay, no changes around here. So, <coughs> of course, made people a little bit angry around, as always. So we need to calm them down. Let's also. Uh, I'll, uh, claim along the coastline. That's what I want to say. Reason enough, you guys start dancing. <coughs> There's a lot of devastation you guys have here. Like holy shit. Uh. Why would I take them from Gabalair? Now the thing is, if I force them to stay, I have a small reduction, a, a small reduction of tolerance of gnomes. And I don't want that. So alright. If you really want to leave, then leave. You bastards. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I could get some uh, <laughs> innovativeness if I picked that early. There ain't nothing better than that. Okay, we are gonna keep that rolling, so. It's nice to have that much innovativeness and uh, tech reduction. That's just ridiculous. Ad until. Now that is something that I actually wanted to check before. Uh, Ad until is over here. You, uh, this replaces the, uh, uh, the thingy. The manufactory, as far as I remember. We can only have one of those. Because if I allow it... I can, no, I can still build that. Oh! I mean, if that is the case... Oh, you don't have slots here. Well, now I cannot fucking test it. I mean, we just look for a place where we have a manufactory as easily. And that can build something else. I think we don't have these places. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, we have places with manufactories. So there we go. Do you have manufactory? Of course not. That would make things too easy. What about you? You don't have a manufactory. But you can build one. Wait, since when can I do that? Why nobody tell me about this? <laughs> I guess what I could do here is pu punch this one up to 40. But yeah, there are no more possible buildings that can be built here. Then. That basically means that... Uh, 
Now the thing is, I would rather scratch that alliance with Pearl's Edge at the moment than go into a gigantic war. Because what do I really get out of this? I mean, the only thing that I really get out of this is uh, the uh, the faith and potential, like a little bit of conquest. So I don't care about the empire enough to really spend my troops here. I'd rather cancel that. And you guys are definitely not gonna be uh, are not gonna be allowed to pass through my territory. <laughs> Just on that note. Uh, that's... Cannot cancel this? I can cancel after that, that way. So. Sure. More points. Uh, sure. Yes, what? What do halflings do? Yishwood, where's that? Oh, there it is. Halflings, what do you do? Oh my god, Golden Arrow uh, is over. That's very sad. Development cost and trade power. Okay, that actually sounds quite fun. That sounds very fun. Of course, pearls are just like, Hey, you're no longer, my, you're no longer dead, so give her back these thingies. And I, s I say no to that. So, use new places, build the things, build all the things. I mean, I feel like everything is a little bit chunky around these parts. No matter what it is. <laughs> Look at them, keep like, please let us through your fucking territory. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, Werner is also not part of this war. Lovely. A bunch of guys are not part of this war. Laurent is part of this war. Is Garvet part of it? Oh no. Then this would be actually the perfect opportunity to try to break the thingy, I would say. But I guess if you don't want to do that, I, I can't force you. Nah. <laughs> Bastards. So, we're gonna continue our claim session here. So we can just claim everything now that is within reach. At the same time we can throw some claims on... Hmm. I mean, if we are gonna fight a war against the Vex, I would like to have a little bit more to gain than just one province. That feels fairly important. Because if the end I would just do a large war to gain one of these things, I'd rather just conquer these things over here as well. That just seems a little bit better. Right, you build these things around here. This one. You you have a shit ton of fucking uh, stuff. I assume that my uh, yes production is clearly my most important uh, I income. I like that they're also like slapping over here. Are you part of this? Of course you are. And it seems like the Coronite League is winning that a little bit harshly. Forty-two percent. Maybe specifically on you. Yeah, that's Blade Marshes. I mean, Blade Marshes themselves are get, getting a little bit beaten up. But who doesn't? So. Sure. We eclipsed Ali Elisna. Huh. Do I want to pick Garvet? I mean, I don't assume that these guys are gonna ally up with each other. That would be very weird.
And I currently don't need it, right? Yeah, I currently don't need it. Well, it's five points. You know what, sure. Garvet, screw you as well. I don't need allies. I'm all alone in this world. At this point, I, I would rather have vassals than allies, to be honest. I'd rather have that. Uh, do we want to push even more... Uh, land? I mean, why not? Uh, da, 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 da. Doesn't really matter at the moment. Everybody hates me. So, let's quickly deal with these guys. Boats, bring me over. I guess we're also gonna end this episode here. So, like always, like some shenanigans. And I guess I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.